but I do. I start with one. That's easy. What's your worst like cutting experience? What's your worst cutting experience? Because he can't. <laughs> no Look, because I rock with y'all. I give y'all, I give y'all one I ain't never told before. Okay, okay. Mm. It's the, it's the, it's because I love, because I fuck with A and P. I love what y'all doing. I give y'all a story, but I ain't never told before. Okay, I need a button for exclusive. I need something when something about to be powerful. I need a powerful buddy. And I, 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 I'm looking over there. I don't, I don't, I don't have nothing powerful. So look, man, we'll call this story. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll title this story. Sometimes it's not worth it. Okay. Okay. All right. So I got this opportunity to cut an NBA player like early on, bro. Like right when I'm fresh to Atlanta, trying to cut every like I said, every celebrity I could cut. Mm-hmm. And I got this opportunity to cut this this NBA player, like a good NBA player, an All Star. Mm. Um. But I'm actually in North Carolina at the time visiting my family. Because when I first got back, I'll be homesick. I'll drive back and forth all the time. It was only six hours. So I was mm-hmm. like, yo, it's good drive. I can make it in a day. So I'm in North Carolina. And it's my last day there. So I'm already going to come back to Atlanta. Yeah. And then my boy hits me, this other NBA player. He like, yo, I got a homie that's about to play today um, on the Warriors. I'll just I'll leave it at that. He's on the Warriors. And he need a cut today. Could you give him a cut? Yeah. I'm like, bro, for sure, I got you. I'm, I'm. What time does he need to cut? Because I'm in North Carolina right now. I'm gonna drive back. It'll be six hours. If he got a game today, then I'm gonna be in town by like two o'clock. The game might be at like seven. He gotta get there at five. Like I might have just, and like I said, if I got enough time to do something, like I said earlier, I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if like if I could fit it in, I'll do it. So I'm like, yo, is that cool if I come at like three o'clock? You know, I need like thirty minutes to grab my stuff. I'll be at his hotel by three. Get him cut by three forty-five. He can make it to the game or whatever. They about to play the Hawks is tonight. He like, yeah, that's perfect. They linked me in a group chat with him. And when I woke up in the well, let me bad chat. When I woke up in the morning in North Carolina, like something was feeling off about my stomach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I felt good. I still woke up, drank my coffee. I'm chilling. Like, but like something just didn't feel like a hundred percent. You eat breakfast or you just drink coffee? I I'm not really coffee. a breakfast eater. You just coffee and keep So pretty much like a coffee dude in the morning and then by like 12, 11. So, you know, because I don't wake up too early. Yeah. So I wake up around like 10 ish. I might get a coffee. Uh, in this instance, I woke up early, but I'll get like my regular, I'll get a coffee, whatever, and then lunch and then, you know, go yeah. and eat a good dinner. Okay. So I wake up, my, my stomach ain't feel right. So I'm like, damn, you know, yeah. whatever. I'm about to go cut this, you know, all star. Like, I got to go, you know? Yeah. So I start driving. Mind you, it's six hours. Every hour that I start driving, every hour I get closer, bro, my stomach started to hurt worse and worse. Mm-hmm. Like every hour closer. Mm-hmm. And by the time I got to Atlanta and I got to the barbershop, bro, I was like fucked up. Yeah. This is before COVID. I was just, I had like a bug, bro. I like felt terrible, like diarrhea, like throw it, like I was going to throw it. Like I felt gross, man. Yeah. But I'm like, dude. I can't miss this opportunity. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like I can't miss this opportunity, and I feel crazy because it sounds crazy that like I went to go cut somebody feeling bad. I didn't want to get them sick or nothing like that. That was never my intention. Like fuck his health, but like I was just feeling like my stomach was hurting. Like it's like something I ate. Mm-hmm. Not really feeling like I'm like, like sick to point like where I'm food contagious. Food poisoning or something like but that. But yeah, I'm feeling yeah. like yo, I got food poisoning or something. Like bro, I'm not. That's something got to get out of my body. Okay. So. I'm like, fuck it, bro. I'm going to thug it out. I don't got no time to go to the bathroom. I, bro, I literally got there as he's like, yo, where you at? And I'm like, I'm coming, bro. And I, I don't eat I don't eat nothing. I don't drink nothing. I'm going to the bathroom. I don't take no time for me to just like relax. I'm like, ah, I just drove. I get my clippers. I get off the road. I go straight to the hotel. And I get up there and I start cutting. Mm-hmm. And this dude get a ball fade, so... As I start cutting the fade, you know, the first thing you got to do is, like, put the ball line in. Yeah, for sure. And that's the first thing. So, it looked mad crazy when you first start. Mm-hmm. Yo, I get in there, and it's a hotel. It's like a tiny-ass hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, it's only one room. Not like he got, like, his, all the rooms and shit. Yeah. So, I get in there, and, bro, I start getting hot. So, I got to take my jacket off. And, like, I'm cutting in my wife beater. Looking, it's just, like, looking mad crazy. He playing Call of Duty. He playing, he playing Nipsey Muse, Nipsey Hustle like dummy loud. So like it's loud as fuck in there. He playing Call of Duty, <laughs> and I'm like cutting with my with my shirt off. So I'm hot as hell, like sweating, like cold sweats. Like man, you feel like terrible. Like you get cold sweats. Mm-hmm. Well, I swear to God, I started getting blurry vision. I start like. <laughs> I started not being able to see his fucking head. Nah, this buddy, buddy, man. Damn, bro, yo, I kid you not. I'm standing there like, I've never been in this position before. 
I was like, where the line go? Like, I, I never, I've never been like blinded. I've never been like feeling like I'm about to pass out ever yeah. in my life. Like in the middle of a cut, cutting a fucking all star, bro. <laughs> An hour before he plays, like, no, nah, that's and tough. his hair just got the line in it. So I'm like. Hey, bro, you got a bathroom? Asking a dumbass question like that. Like, of course he got a bathroom. It's the only other room right there. Like, so ask a dumbass question. I'm nervous. I'm like, yo, I'm at the bathroom right quick. He's like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Hella nice. I go in the bathroom, dog. Nigga, <laughs> he already know who it is. I go in the bathroom, dog. And like, yo, he, um. NBA fucking horse. Like I said, I'm glad he was playing Nipsey Hustleberg because I started shitting and throwing up in the bathroom, bro, at the same time. Like, going, like, I just I had food poisoning. Uh huh. I'm throwing up in the middle of this haircut, bro. And I'm I'm starting to feel like there's there's no nothing I could do right now. How do I come out and tell this dude like wow. you felt defenseless? Yeah, yeah bro, like physically. Vulnerable. Like I felt physically defenseless. <laughs> I couldn't stand up type shit. I'm like, how do I explain this? Mm-hmm. To first my, to first him and then to the guy who gave me the referral, another NBA player, like, yo, uh Vic came over and he fucking like died in the middle of the haircut. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I started chugging the sink water. And I'm like trying to hydrate myself. Like in the bathroom? In the bathroom, bro. I get oh. off the toilet. I start chugging the sink water. And it's one of those moments where you got to look in the mirror and you got to be like, hey, man. This ain't it. It's, it's do or it's, die. It's do or die. It's now <laughs> or never. It's, like it's now or never. <laughs> <laughs> I look in the mirror. I'm like, hey, it's now or never. And I already had like my homeboy on speed dial to like come finish the hair. I would call another barber to come like finish the cut for me. I didn't care that much. I was like, yo, I got to go. Bro, I, I fucking go out there. I finish the cut. Dude was so happy. He loved it. Great, re- great review to to my referral. And bro, that's what I realized. Like bro, you saved it. Yes, yeah, I, I, I saved. I put it together. But and nobody knew. He never got sick. Nothing like nobody ever oh, like bro. knew. Nothing wrong with the bathroom. Like that's what it was. But that's the, to the moral to the topic to the title of the story. Yeah. Like yo, sometimes it's not worth it, bro. And that's why I said, like, I ain't put my health on the line no more for no haircut, bro. Fact, like, what we fact. said way earlier at the beginning of this podcast, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not putting my health on the line no more for nothing, bro. Like, yeah. are you kidding me, bro? I thought I was going to die. Jeez, bro. I thought that would be, like, the, the cancellation of my career right there. You know, there's only, like, three people that could have, that could be applicable <laughs> to that story. It's we, can't, we ain't going to name drop it, but. And one of them don't get a haircut, so I know it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to name drop it. Yeah, no, no, we not, we not. It was. Yo, yeah, he don't I, even know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell him one day, man. One day when I see him again, I'll be like, bro, you know, I almost died cutting your hair. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs>